this one is one that I was pretty upset at. I, I was glad that the response was the way that it was. But at the same time, I hate that the police officers and law enforcement were put into this situation where they had to do this because I really like this guy. I don't know if you've ever heard of Funny Mane. Uh, it's a guy named Jermaine Johnson. He's an internet comedian. He does stand up. He's sort of a local celebrity around central and North Alabama. He lives in Birmingham and he really became famous and has even done some stuff with SEC shorts and it's a Southern thing. Uh, he really became famous for his videos about Alabama football. And so what he does is, if you've never seen it, and if you live in Alabama and haven't seen this, I don't know, you, you must be living under a rock, but I'm going to go ahead and give a, a quick briefer in case uh, some of our audience has not seen this yet. So what Funny Main does is he sits down and he uh, watches the football game, and he doesn't do it live. I mean, I'm sure that he, he writes a bunch of this stuff, but basically he goes through what Alabama fans' reactions were going to be to football that Saturday. Now, sometimes he does it specifically for a Bama game. Sometimes he does it for an off day and reacts to all the other uh, games that are going on, and he's really, really funny. I really enjoy the videos. Uh, I still go back and watch some of his old ones because they crack me up so much, so... I really am a fan of this guy. I think he's hysterical. But unfortunately, when all of this activism started, this same guy, this, he, who's an internet comedian, decided it would be a good idea to go out and encourage people in the city of Birmingham to go create property damage, tear stuff up, and riot. The whole world is on national TV tearing stuff down. We need to tear something down tonight. They need to see Birmingham, the home of the civil rights movement, tear some down tonight. Really is, really is upsetting. I hate that because, like I said, I really am a fan of the guy's work. I'm a fan of his content. I think he's very, very funny. But, I mean, that's a crime. That is textbook inciting a riot. You couldn't come up with a more clear-cut example of inciting a riot, in fact. I mean, he's, he's straight up saying we need to go out and create property damage and tear things down. And so, I mean, I'm sure that his legal counsel is watching that and just going, Really, dude? Seriously? You're not giving me much to work with here. So, that is the way it is, I suppose, though. So, the city of Birmingham has decided to, you know, correctly, based on that, press charges against this guy, and they have arrested him. He is out on bail now, but they did arrest him, and so now he's going to face his day in court. I mean, that looks like a pretty darn open and shut case. I don't know, other than using the word riot, I don't think you could come up with a better example of somebody trying to instigate a riot and instigate disorderly contact and encouraging people to break a law, getting on a podium with a loudspeaker saying, hey, let's tear some stuff up. So it's a pretty open and shut case. And the thing is, I'm very much a free speech guy. In fact, my job revolves around it. There is a inborn fondness within me that always defaults to the maximum amount of free speech possible. But the speech is not what is being persecuted here. I mean, he could have said exactly those same words. And if he were doing it in a parody or it was very clear that that's not what he was talking about, something like that would have been fine. So it's not the speech that is the problem, it's the fact that he was going out and encouraging people to commit crimes in the same way that if you tell somebody uh, that you want to hire them as a hitman to go kill someone, well then that counts as you being involved, you are conspiring with someone to commit murder. It's not the fact that you are speaking that is being prosecuted, it is the fact that you're trying to go out with ill intent to commit a crime. This is the same thing. He is encouraging other people to go out and commit crimes, and therefore he rightly, by the city of Birmingham, has been charged with instigating a riot. Because that is absolutely a call for violence. Now, the funny thing is, and I say this kind of tongue-in-cheek, because of course the guy is a comedian, is that the next day he immediately went out and was on the news again saying that, oh, he never said that, even though we have video evidence of it. Here's that exchange with him in local news. I hate it. I hate it. I love my city. 
I don't I don't stand for that. Y'all won't be able to find not one video where I'm encouraging people to tear down our city. As a matter of fact, you'll find just the opposite. I literally encourage the people with a heart for Birmingham to not touch our city. Those are the videos you will find. You can search high and low. Now, if there's any person that should understand that the internet is forever and once a video is on the web, you can't get rid of it. It should have been this guy. I mean, he's an internet comedian. He's a YouTuber just like me. And so if there's anybody that should understand that he can't get away with just saying, oh, I never said that, even though he did say that, either he has a horrible case of short-term memory loss or he's just trying to deny because he knows that he's he's in deep, you know, trouble at this point because of what, what all has happened. Because the internet is forever. But this is why. I say to regular people, and by regular people, I just mean people that aren't sort of in the political circle, people that are political commentators like me, or journalists, or people that are actual politicians or work with politicians. You have to be real, real careful when you decide to go public, especially as a public figure with a big platform, going forward and giving a stance on this. Because if you don't know the rules of the road, you can very quickly find yourself an offender render. And I think that that's what was going on here. I think this guy... Uh, you know, emotions were high and he was very passionate. I think that comes off in the original video that we showed you where he is calling for violence and uh, shut the old brain off and the mouth just kept going whether the brain was working or not. I think that's probably what happened here. Doesn't excuse it, not making excuses for him. In fact, frankly, I think they need to make an example out of this guy and maybe other celebrities will look at that and go, okay, if I am going to come out and, and come out with a, a political statement on something, I need to be a little more cautious. I've never been one of the people like, uh, what's her name, Laura Ingram, that says, just shut up and dribble. No, I mean, if you have a platform and you're an American citizen, that's part of your right as a citizen. But if you do enter that arena, you have to know that you're going to get popped in the mouth. You can't enter a boxing ring with another boxer, get punched in the face and, and cry foul. You knew that going in. Now, in this case, it went even further than just mere criticism and a rebuttal of his political stance. It came with legal ramifications as well. But that's the point. If you're going to step into those waters, if you're going to try to navigate it, you got to be real, real careful and make sure that you're not doing anything uh, illegal and, and also make sure that you are prepared for the repercussions of that. Maximum amount of liberty coupled with the maximum amount of responsibility for that liberty. That's what's playing out right before our eyes here in, a, here in Birmingham. And I really, really do hope that other people are going to look at that and realize, hmm, maybe just shouting that people should be tearing stuff up is a bad idea. Maybe even non-celebrities, people that are just in a crowd, watch that and go, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be encouraging people to throw bricks through windows. Like, I don't know if that'll have an effect, but I genuinely hope that it does. What this guy did was wrong. It was illegal. It absolutely meets the legal definition of inciting a riot, and he should have to pay for it. It's not exactly a secret that YouTube really doesn't like conservatives, so I'm asking for your help. I don't want to stick it to them. I just genuinely want to show them that conservative voices do matter and that there is a big, passionate audience out there that wants to hear them. So give us a like and subscribe, remembering to click the notification bell, and show YouTube that you do want more content like this. Sincerely, thank you.